and we are at the border exactly. It's a little bit awkward. <laughs> it's a little bit weird actually. So we haven't walked walked far. We walked up that hill there. Uh, and now we have to find a campsite. So my son is here, so uh, he's going to be a nice overnighter out there in the woods. We are very close to the Swedish border. I mean, we can walk next morning. I think we'll walk to the border and have a look. Normally I just sit there by the campfire and talk. It would be great. Especially if you want to see more videos like, like this one, like, you know, an overnighter in the woods. Uh, hit the like. <laughs> uh, and all that, you know. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have a, a wonderful time out there in the winter woods. Not much snow, but uh, that's uh, southeastern Norway for you. Can you see that? That's the uh, Lavo. <laughs> it got dark. We have a fire going in this wood stove. So we're going to have some some dinner, boiling up some water here. So I am in the Lavo and uh, it's warm. We have a fire going in the, in the stove and uh, just wanted to say a few words while the water is boiling. Um, you know, it's, it's, um, it is more comfortable to stay at home and spend the night sitting in the sofa watching TV <laughs> that's much more comfortable so the question is why, why why do we do this why do we walk into the dark woods like this and, and we have to look for firewood and you know and Sometimes it's difficult to find a good answer. Uh, I think it's something that we are missing in daily life that we find out here. And it, it needs to be, dare I say, uncomfortable. That's sort of part of it, you know, because the reward when you, you pitch your tent, you gather your firewood, you boil off some water, you make some food. It's it's a connection there, you know, to something, something that I feel is important. And by the way, I had a bit of a problem with the fire because I forgot this little device here. <laughs> you have to twist it so you let the smoke out, okay? Yeah. <clears throat>
Yeah, we had <clears throat> we have had some snow, as you can see. We are now in the hills, in the borderlands. So this is what it looks like at the border to Sweden, at least here. Uh, the road will just end like this, a hundred or two hundred yards uh, inside of the on the Norwegian side. But we're going to walk into the into the woods and uh, check out the border itself this is the borderline the borderline itself and they've chopped down the trees uh, to mark uh, where the border between sweden and norway is and we are at the border exactly it's a little bit awkward <laughs> it's a little bit weird actually why would someone separate the forest like this? I mean, Sweden behind me here, Norway behind me here. Looks exactly the same. Lovely is still here. <laughs> now it's uh, quite important that we don't just sit there and talk all the time. We need to get out in nature and connect with nature and spend time in nature. Uh, some people call it uh, dirt time. Um, doesn't matter what you call it. I I feel that for many reasons. Uh, the nights that I spend out in the woods are important, very valuable, and uh, I learn something new every time. You know, I've been doing this since I was a kid, you know, since I was a boy, uh, and I'm still learning something new every time, which is a humbling experience, and uh, it's it's a good thing, you know. Thanks for watching. Take a look at the other video that should pop up on the end screen here. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.